And, and keep the 350000 continued uh, contribution that was also in the budget this year that would make our total contribution 2.35, isn't it? Roughly. Can I ask a question, Stat, Dr. George? Uh, the impact of that fiscally for us with this donation? Because we. The, there's no operational impact. Staff's recommendation is that you make that contribution, and that's part of that comes out of the unallocated general fund balance when we go into the trust. So it's not part of our operational budget. Staff's concurrent recommendation is that, and as council member we've articulated, is that we retain the current fiscal year's arc in its current amount, at least for the current fiscal year. And then next budget cycle, we look at reducing that operational cost. Um, I'll second you know, I, that motion. I want a slightly smaller number, but I wouldn't argue with another $200,000. And one of the things we've got to remember is it's expected that our property tax revenues are going to continue to increase. I mean, based on various presentations we have, they think they could increase by about 9% a year, which would bring in even more money. So at this stage, paying off those long-term liabilities is something that I think has some urgency. And I would... As I say, I would like a smaller number, but I wouldn't disagree with council member with that. So I'll second the motion for the two million, with keeping the three hundred fifty thousand arc contribution. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Good. Nice job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. I, I put in a uh, the council report. I didn't see anybody else's. Wait, you're not. There it is. Look at that. Well, oh, there's wow. mine. I, I had know. color pictures, and you wow. black and white whited them. I, wow. yeah, I'm sorry. This came from uh, staff. Okay, well, I'll show you here. If I could so, show you. So now we're on to item number 23, which is the council reports. Okay, and right, Council Member Widmer is very proud of himself because he I has submitted a, a council report complete with <laughs> color, color pictures because he went to the park. Okay. Well, I did other things, too. Just first off, uh, Carrie and I sat in, and uh, hopefully in October, we're going to be bringing back some good news for the residents on the trash. Um, but I did take the time to go to the uh, to the art fair, which was an excellent show, and we had three uh, local artists. However, um, the park wasn't looking as pristine as perhaps it could have been, and so you know I did try and identify that and some of the things we've talked about here maybe are going to help rectify that. I've given some ideas. But what I'd like to bring to everybody's attention, I, while I was there, um, several of the residents said, hey, would I please go in and take a tour of the kitchen? And I did. I've been in the kitchen. Okay, and I've taken yes. some photos. This may be your hand here. But uh, yeah. you can see there, there's an oven that doesn't even have a handle. It's got a wire. Uh, it's got drawers that you can't open because of the tiles that are holding it in. It doesn't have a, a dishwasher. You, you know, we need to do something seriously if we're going to use that for anything, really, for, as a venue. And then also, um, it has been made clear to me that I need to take a tour of the carriage house because the restrooms are in terrible shape. And the kitchen there is even worse than this one, photographic. So, uh, thank you. That's really wonderful. And honestly, I've... This, well, I see you have the, the you have it reserved for like a week or two. No, it was uh, going to be on the twenty first. Okay. But I'm I'm not. Uh, I was, but the oven was broken. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> cook in that. You, you, you can actually visit the town's website now and right. go. And Judy just put them up today after some work by Sherman and Jennifer Fru. They went out and videotaped each of the town's facilities out oh. there for rental purposes. Um, so you can go on the town website yeah. and watch a short video, which. You know, but I've shown it. I've got pictures. I'll give you just as good and it didn't cost anything. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly concur that the kitchen is a mess because I've hosted parties there. I've, I've done uh, the, the holiday tea with the dames and then uh, other uh, venues. And let me just say that in November, we have an opportunity as the town to host the Council of Cities uh, dinner at our town. And I was uh, going to talk to city manager about whether or not we want to host it at the uh, Jennings Pavilion because we did it once before. Everybody thought it was nice, but it looks so tired that uh, my husband went, Jennings Pavilion, it looks so bad. Why don't we host it at 
someplace else. Some place in Menlo like Park. The circus club, <laughs> the circus club, or our house, or somebody. So anyway, and let me just, while I'm on there, uh, the, the speaker uh, that uh, would be lined up for that is the animal control contract for the county uh, that all the cities have to oh. pay. So you know how much we pay for animal yeah, control services? It's, it's 57000 I believe. $60,000. 60, and oh, yeah. this is huge. And so the, the Council of Cities is taking it upon themselves to, you know, to join together and really look at this and maybe get that reduced. Okay, so I think that that's a very uh, timely uh, topic. It's not very, um, I'm not going to say the word, but appealing, but, uh, or, you know, kind of fun, but anyway, that's what we have. So, do we want to do some remodeling before, uh, I mean... Well, we're gonna, it's going to cost more, we've got to put, get a budget, but I think that clearly something needs to be, this is an area that needs attention. Somebody wrote that and underlined. Somebody. Yeah, really <laughs> nice yeah, job. I, I, would like, I would like us to host that dinner if we possibly can. Yes, we well, are. We are hosting it. The question yes. was where? I, well, we, yeah, well, I mean, the circus club probably hasn't agreed to it yet. Have we no, them? would you like to have it at the circus club? I mean, that would be very nice. I do too. I think that would be a nice thing. I do not. I would like to make sure we have an adequate time at the November meeting to make sure everybody gets heard. What November? Okay. November's meeting, so we'll discuss this. Are we going to discuss it in October and make sure? Discuss what? Are we? We're not picking a menu today. Can we pick oh, a menu? menu. A venue. A venue. A venue. Well, yeah. I, I think that's, uh, we that's really up to the mayor. Agenda. It's no. not on the agenda, but we're that's my ready. council report. That's my oral council report that I didn't get written because uh, of things. Well, enjoy the enjoy this report. It'll probably be the last one for the year. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and, so I, and, and, since, and since I got. You know, identified as leaving the meeting early uh, and one item, which I thought was, wow, I couldn't, you know, I, I hope the Almanac reports clearly that I actually stayed for the whole bloody meeting. Okay. Bloody. Okay. With that, I'll call this. Before you ask the question. Yes. You and the Vice Mayor will be at, and I as well, will be at the League of Cities conference Thursday and Friday of this week. I'll be at the city manager's conference Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the following week as well. So, and then on the kill. Right. And I will, well, it doesn't matter, but next week. So, okay. Mayor, yes, just, just so everybody knows, I will be out next Wednesday having a little surgery. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. All right. So, um, any public comment? Okay, well, with that, I'll adjourn the meeting. Thank you all. You didn't set the record. <laughs> you know, you know, I, you know, I want to well, challenge I you guys to the turn the truck. I kept saying, you better move, you better move.